Tunisia's parliament is suspended for a month. Demonstrators, rival camps from different sides of the political divide, have been protesting outside. Some anger spilling over into violence. Once again, the country is in turmoil. On Sunday, people took to the streets in several cities in mass anti-government protests. Less than 24 hours later, President Kais Saeed made a bold decision. He froze parliament and ousted Prime Minister Hicham Machichi. I find it surprising how some people are talking about a so-called coup. I have followed the constitution, the conditions were met, and among these conditions, there were procedural terms and all of these conditions were respected. I then invited the prime minister that I have dismissed and informed him. And then I called the House Speaker and I told him that I will be resorting to Article 80 of the Constitution, after which I declared the exceptional measures and the presence of permanent danger. But there is no constitutional court to decide whether the move was legal under Article 80. On the streets, Tunisians are calling for change. Many fed up with a political stalemate, an economy in crisis, high unemployment rates and the mishandling of the pandemic. The Anahda party, which holds the most seats in parliament, has recently bore the brunt of their anger. We have this political crisis amidst the, the worst uh, health crisis that we have ever had in Tunisia. We have about 100 people dying every day from coronavirus. And then we have uh, also a huge economic crisis. So this political crisis is extremely dangerous because people, you know, are uh, exhausted. Uh, they are scared and uh, nobody knows exactly where we are heading. Amid political turmoil and civil unrest, security forces stormed without a warrant the offices of Al Jazeera in Tunis and expelled the staff. They closed the office without providing any reason. A group of men came in wearing security and civilian clothes. They broke into the office and took the keys and said they were the instructions. A spokesman for the UN Secretary General gave his reaction. We're dismayed by these uh, reports uh, and we hope that all reporters, including the ones at Al Jazeera, will be able to go about their work without harassment. And we want to make sure that uh, as we have the situation on the ground in Tunisia, that uh, press freedoms are respected. With the fear that Tunisia could slide back into a full revolt, similar to the 2011 Jasmine Revolution, the EU and the US are calling for calm, and the UN is following the situation closely. But a decade on from the revolt that brought democracy, Tunisians are divided on what direction their country should take. Laura Badamanli, Al Jazeera.